Harry Styles is a universally well-liked celebrity, not just for his incredible music since breaking out on his own as a solo artist, but also for his charisma, outgoing personality, and even his fashion sense. But recently, he seems to have gotten embroiled in controversy surrounding his new girlfriend, Olivia Wilde. And if there's one thing the internet loves to do right now, it's tear down a blossoming romance between them. Unfortunately, Harry seems to be getting a whole lot of flack for it. So let's talk about all the celebrities who made it clear that they refused to work with Harry Styles. Number 10, Florence Pugh. As we know, the Hollywood it girl appears in Olivia Wilde's new film, Don't Worry Darling, alongside Harry Styles. However, there was reportedly much tension on the set between the two women. Florence reportedly wasn't too happy seeing her director hooking up with Harry, considering the fact that at the time she was still with Jason Sudeikis, whom she is very good friends with. So it makes sense that she wouldn't be too happy seeing the two of them together when Jason was allegedly oblivious to the affair on set and even brought their two young children to visit their mother. But what was Harry's role in all of this? Well, not a whole lot, but it's pretty apparent that Florence disapproves of his new romance with Olivia Wilde. During the premiere of Don't Worry Darling at the Venice Film Festival, fans noticed that the actress avoided both Harry and Olivia like the plague. She posed for group shots with the entire cast, but did not get any photos alone with Harry, even though they were both central characters and love interests in the film. Florence also was said to have avoided eye contact with both of them throughout the premiere and seemed to leave the event as soon as possible. So with everything that went down, it's highly unlikely they'll be working together again in the future. If you're loving this video so far, please hit that like button, it would really help us out. Number 9, Shia LaBeouf. The actor was initially cast as Jack in Don't Worry Darling, but in September of 2020, it was announced that he would be replaced by Harry Styles. Olivia then made some very explosive comments alleging that she fired Shia due to a no a-hole policy that she has while directing. She told Variety, Shia's process was not conducive to the ethos that I demanded my productions. He has a process that in some ways seems to require a combative energy. And I don't personally believe that is conducive to the best performances. Ultimately, my responsibility is to the production and to the cast to protect them. But Shia was not very happy with this side of the story and decided to publicly expose Olivia. He emailed both the director and Variety to deny that he was fired, instead saying, you and I both know the reasons for my exit. I quit your film because your actors and I couldn't find time to rehearse. And he proceeded to leak a video of Olivia begging him to stay in the film. Shia seemed to want to set the record straight but some fans accused him of being bitter and resentful over the fact that Harry ended up replacing him in the film. It sounds like a bit of a reach but that could be a possibility. Number 8 Zayn Malik In a moment of honesty the 29 year old opened up to US Weekly and revealed the reality of his relationship with Harry, admitting that the two of them barely spoke while they were in One Direction, let alone since. Zayn said, to be honest I never really spoke to Harry even when I was in the band so I didn't really expect that much of a relationship with him and I haven't had one. Sometime later, possibly in a response to Zayn's comments, Harry appeared on SNL and dragged Zayn during his opening monologue. He said, I was in a band called One Direction. How crazy would it be if they were here tonight? I love those guys. They're my brothers, Niall, Liam, Louie, and Ringo. If you didn't catch that, he was implying that Zayn was a less important member of the group, as many Beatles fans see Ringo Starr as the least talented and least interesting person in the band. So what was his reaction? Well, a source close to the star told Hollywood Life that Zayn doesn't care what his former band member does or says, and that he'd rather not see his name in a headline with Harry ever again. But the whole thing was hardly a surprise to fans given that the two of them weren't exactly best friends, they were more like co-workers. Number 7, Mark Wahlberg. This one was one of the most unlikely celebrity feuds in the history of celebrity feuds. In 2014, Mark Wahlberg appeared on Conan and revealed that his daughter's obsession with One Direction infuriated him, so much so that he threatened to beat Harry Styles up. It's pretty clear that the actor was never a fan of the singer to begin with and told Conan that his two little girls would rather talk about One Direction than their dad's movies. Quote, my four year old's going, Daddy, I like Harry. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna punch Harry in the nose when I see him. She pulls out pictures of him and she's hiding pictures in the room. And I pretend I'm ripping them up and I get jealous. But if I see that little prick, he's gonna get it. Insinuating that if Harry didn't watch out, he was going to risk getting a black eye or two. Mark also decided discussed a plan to have One Direction do a song for one of his movies, only to lure them in so that he could basically beat the crap out of them. Quote, I could say, hey, I really want to meet One Direction. I'm a big fan. Maybe you can do the title track for the song, and then I would beat the crap out of them in a video. 
Of course, it seemed like he was just messing around or being sarcastic, but it was a little odd how long he kept the joke going. Number six, Liam Payne. Twitter fans ridiculed Liam for airing the dirty laundry of his former 1D bandmates on Logan Paul's Impulsive podcast. The 29 year old reflected on the band's highs and lows, as well as the various feuds within the group and their personal problems in recent years. But fans took particular issue with the fact that he said his 2017 debut solo track, Strip That Down, outsold everyone else in the band. In fact, the whole interview came off as a little bit of a humble brag for Liam, and a lot of people were confused how he seemingly thought that he was the most successful member of the band. Liam also claimed that he was the chosen leader of One Direction, and disputed the notion that Harry was a frontman of the group. He insisted that the band was formed around him as a part of a promise that Simon had made to him two years prior. He explained that when he auditioned for X Factor the second time, he was thrown into the group, and Simon promised to make it work for him, and allegedly decided that Liam was to be the band's leader. But fans were very skeptical of the claim, and even Lizzo said, I don't know who lied to that poor boy, but he was not the front man. So it looks like the question is still up for debate. Number five, Noel Gallagher. The English singer and songwriter who is a member of the band Oasis has a long history of questioning other artists' musical abilities. But Noel Gallagher made a whole lot of enemies when he decided to trash Harry Styles. In fact, he hated Harry even when he was in One Direction and decided to go on record calling the band members something that rhymes with rock suckers and said that they would all be in rehab by the time they're 30. Not only that, but he told the Daily Star that X Factor as an institution has nothing to do with music whatsoever, and that performers and bands that came from the show don't work as hard as real musicians. Quote, you're not telling me that Harry Styles is currently sitting in a room somewhere writing a song. With any joy, he'll be surrounded by a lot of girls. I can assure you he's not got an acoustic guitar out trying to write a middle eight for something. Noel also claimed that his cat could have written Harry's debut single, Sign of the Times, in about 10 minutes. The singer has also trashed Little Mix and said that they were not in the same league as his own band. But clearly, he doesn't take into account the size of a fan base either. Number four, Billy Porter. Not everyone was happy to see Harry Styles gracing the cover of Vogue in 2020 while wearing a dress. In fact, actor and director Billy Porter felt that Harry was just copying him. In an interview with the Sunday Times, Porter slammed Harry's gender expression as performative. Quote, he doesn't care, he's just doing it because it's the thing to do. This is politics for me, this is my life. I had to fight my entire life to get to the place where I could wear a dress to the Oscars. All he had to do is be white and straight. Porter went on to say, I changed the whole game. I personally changed the whole game. And that is not ego, that is just fact. I was the first one doing it and now everybody's doing it. I created the conversation and yet Vogue still put Harry Styles in a dress on their cover for the first time. It's easy to see where Porter is coming from considering that yes, he has spent years making waves in the gender fluid fashion world and famously arrived at the 2019 Oscars in a Christian Siriano blazer dress, which kind of broke the internet at the time. But he also wasn't the first and only celebrity to ever push the envelope of gender binaries. So Harry shouldn't have been the target of his criticism here. Number three, Taj Jackson. Michael Jackson's nephew was fuming when Rolling Stone UK tweeted out the cover of their November issue, which featured Harry Styles. The singer was pictured rocking a white first stole and pink sequin shorts while holding a birthday cake with lit candles. And the title reading, Harry Styles, how the new king of pop set the music world aflame. It's safe to say that this didn't go over too well with Taj Jackson, who immediately took to the comments to roast the magazine and demand a different title for Harry. He wrote, there is no new king of pop. You don't own the title Rolling Stone and you didn't earn it, my uncle did. Decades of dedication and sacrifice. The title has been retired. The 49 year old is the eldest child of Michael Jackson's brother Taito. And although he insisted that he wasn't disrespecting Harry, his 180,000 followers seemed to be out for blood and started joining in on the hate train against him. One user wrote, Harry is like every other pop star, a Michael Jackson wannabe that will never be anywhere near as good or as talented as the real king of pop. Then Taj doubled down on his feelings and wrote, there is only one king of pop and no offense intended to Harry Styles, but he's not in the same league or universe as Michael Jackson. Wow. 
Number two, Lucius. The American indie pop band did not hold back at all when they accused Harry Styles of not properly crediting them after they collaborated with the pop star on his 2019 song, Treat People With Kindness. In an interview with the LA Times, the two lead vocalists, Jess Wolf and Holly Lasig, said that Harry asked for their vocals on the song because they were already working on another song together at the time. Quote, we were like, yeah, of course, it's just oohs and ahs, it's not a big deal, and it's a good opportunity for us. But we started singing and we were singing the whole chorus. Two weeks later, they sent us the track and it was literally us. We started the song, we sing every chorus, just us. We trade off in the bridge, it's us and Harry Styles. The women maintain that Harry didn't even link their band when he put the song on Spotify, which they claimed robbed them of critical exposure that they needed as a relatively unknown band. Quote, it just hurt. There was an opportunity to spread the love a little bit, which he purports to do all the time, and it could have really helped us. While the situation does sound disheartening, it might not have been something that Harry did knowingly or maliciously. And coming in at number one, Candace Owens. A lot of people had a lot to say in 2020 when Harry Styles made history as the first male to have a solo cover of Vogue and just happened to be wearing a dress. To no one's surprise, the controversial conservative commentator did not approve of his clothing choice at all. And so she decided to attack him on Twitter, saying, there is no society that can survive without strong men. The East knows this, in the West, the steady feminization of our men at the same time that Marxism is being taught to our children is not a coincidence. It is an outright attack. Bring back manly men. She caught a lot of backlash for her comments and people were quick to call her out for being photographed wearing a suit and flooded her comment section with phrases like, bring back feminine women. In response to this, Olivia Wilde called Candace pathetic for basically attacking Harry's gender expression and conflating wearing a dress with being feminine. Then in response to that tweet, Candace hit back at Olivia, tweeting, you're single for a reason, referencing her split from longtime partner Jason Sudeikis, which was announced just days earlier. But regardless of how many people stood up for Harry, it's pretty clear that he just doesn't like labels, especially when it comes to gendered fashion. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.